Hello everyone, Pro here, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Last time, we went ahead and spoke to this, this, uh, sketchy lady here about I'm going so and visiting, arranged. visiting the, uh, cabin that we're supposed to be going to, um, we don't really know the details, though. I don't want to listen to you. This really ought to be... Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid! It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. Oh, what the hell? Let's use the jukebox. Let's see if that does anything. Any music? There we go. Okay, so we gotta meet our girlfriend, I think. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Is that where we're headed? Well, we'll find out. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hmm. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city you might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Okay, so it seems like Alan Wake hasn't really wrote anything for the past two years. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. So it's kind of weird that these people are kind of... They have fans of us here so regularly, even though we haven't really been active. Come on. Here we go. I guess we forgot our key in here, so I wonder how we're going to bear with that. I want to make sure I don't miss any conversation cues with this person. Elena, I think her name is. Birdleg Cabin. Let's take a look inside. Come on. 
It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Is there a light switch here? Nope. Any decent home would have a light switch there. I would assume. You know. Unless... A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Huh. Power. She said something about a power cable. Goes to the shed? Let's check the shed. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Start the generator then. Alright, now we got power. Now we just need to figure out how to No. The lights are on! Oh. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Guess that's okay. all we have to do. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Why do we need that key? It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Alice? Honey? Let's see if there's anything else I can examine in here. This, it's really hard to trigger this, but it's the same thing, so I don't know. Alright, let's get this collectible. I'm not going to go for 100% if that's kind of what this is all about. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Ooh, surprise. Who do we have here? Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. In the study. Go to the study. Oh, we have like notification markers on our Surprise. mini map. Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you, everyone- Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Alice? Her name's Alice. It had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! Whoa. No! What the hell?
Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. I think now we're in a nightmare sequence. For realsies this time. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emile Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. I wonder why this guy's so against writing again. Stucky, that was the guy we were supposed to meet for the key to the cabin. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Looks like we're gonna have to... Damn. Uh-oh. Alright, so this is gonna be quite a walk, it seems. Am I missing anything? I wanna make sure I'm not missing any collectibles or Hello? ammo. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Sound familiar? Departure Title page. By Alan Wake. Oh, is he gonna narrate this? The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Okay. Let's go in here. This doesn't look like the place you're, they expected you to go. Hmm. Perhaps I was mistaken. Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. I don't know. Sounds like it might be a bad idea. You're kidding me. I'm actually gonna do this. Interesting. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. I've fallen and I can't get up. Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To beat you. non reflecting Reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> Who's this? Carl, 
The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. So I guess these guys are called the Taken. Oh, whoa. I wasn't expecting that. Whoa. This guy sure knows how to maneuver. Uh oh. I don't have my flashlight anymore. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Well, that's convenient. Anything else in here? Pick up batteries. Definitely. During your Trying. It's the latest. Yes. In Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Hello? Hello? Whoa. That was close. Let's keep going for the gas station. There were more of them. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone, or something. There were no bodies. Did I turn this on properly? If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Oh, I guess I could have used that, maybe. There's a... Hmm. What do we have here? That arrow pointed over here for some reason, and I'm gonna find out why. Aha. It only the arrow only shines when you point your light at it. Flare gun. Aha. I guess I guess this is kind of a painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. So I guess if you explore you get rewarded. Alright, let's keep going. I guess that means I have to be on the lookout for stuff. Kick this. Okay. I don't know if that helped. Chains. That would be good. But I guess I can't use it. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go. But I had no I, choice. I had to get to the gas station. How did I take damage there? Okay. Just give me a sec, dude. Need to get my supplies. Alright. the 
the hell was that? I don't know, but let's just keep going for this gas station. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Well, it looks like we have a convenient path. I want to go over here first, see if there's anything. There's a thermos. Thermos. Collectible. Alright. Where's this gas station? Looks like it's still pretty far ways away. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave you here. Uh, on the next episode of Alan Wake, we'll go ahead and see what's up with this gas station and if we're going to be able to save Alice. See you next time.